Lens flares look really awesome and they can really help to improve the production value of your videos. But if you haven't captured them on set, then how can we fake it in post? Find out how in today's video. Lens flares, specifically anamorphic lens flares, look really cinematic and they can really help to improve the quality of your films. This is because most Hollywood films utilize the use of anamorphic lens flares. However, most Hollywood films specifically use anamorphic lenses in order to capture those anamorphic lens flares. But the problem is they're really expensive and to small time filmmakers, this can sometimes mean that we just don't have lens flares. Or does it? So once we've loaded up our footage inside of Adobe After Effects, we just want to drag that down onto the composition. And because I shot this in 4K, I'm just going to adjust the scale to 50%. Now I want to create a brand new black solid. So go into layer, new solid and change the color to black. Now from here, we want to go up into effects and we want to search for lens flare. And we're going to drag that on top of the black solid one. And then as you can see in this tab on the left, by changing the lens type, you've got different types of lens flares. But for this example, I'm just going to choose the 105 millimeter prime. And now I'm just going to go down and make sure that the toggle switches is pressed and we're going to change the screen mode to screen. And then in the lens flare, I'm going to adjust the position of this by pressing this button. And I'm just going to change the position of this so that it's matching the light source in the room. Now I'm going to create a brand new keyframe and I'm going to go through the shot and I'm going to change this keyframe so that it animates with the lights in the shots. In effect, this is basically just going to stick that lens flare to the light source in the shot. So if we watch that back, you can see that that has stuck to the shot. However, it is really over the top. So I'm just going to go into opacity and pull this down to around 50%. Now, if you go onto Google and search for anamorphic lens flare, you're going to be able to find loads of these images of lens flares. So you just want to take one of those, drag it into After Effects. Now this should have a black background. And if it does, then you want to change the blending mode to add. And then we just want to go up to the mask tool. We want to change this to a circle mask and we just want to draw a circle around that lens flare. Now, once we've done that, we want to pull the feathering up to around 200%. And then we want to go into this. We want to go into the position, create a new keyframe for position. And then like we did with the original lens flare, we want to change the position of this lens flare to match the light source throughout the scene. So as the camera is moving throughout the scene, the lens flare is sticking with the light source. And then once you've completed this, that is essentially the lens flare effect now complete. So because you can see there are three very obvious light sources within this shot, I need to complete this effect throughout all of these three light sources. So I'm just gonna go through the process now of adding all of those lens flares making sure that they're trapped within the scene. And that's the effect now complete. But to progress this shot from here, I'm just going to add some basic color correction because you're currently looking at D-Log footage, meaning there's no color in it. So I'm going to create a brand new adjustment layer. I'm going to go into the effects and presets tab and search for LUT. And now we'll just drag the apply color LUT onto the adjustment layer, choose a LUT, and then we're just going to drag levels onto this. We're going to adjust the levels and then into the effects and presets tab one more time, searching for hue slash saturation. And we'll just pull the saturation up on this shot just a touch. And then we'll just make sure that that adjustment layer is dragged underneath all of those lens flare layers, basically meaning that it's not color correcting all of the lens flares. It's just color correcting the scene. So because these lens flares weren't originally part of the scene, the color of the flare doesn't match the color of the lighting in the scene. So to finish this effect off, we just need to add some tint onto these. So we're going to go into effects and presets, search for tint. We'll drag tint on top of all of the lens flare layers. And then we'll just map the white to a green color because the color is quite green in the shot. And now there you go. That is the effect now complete and that is digital lens flares added to your scene. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon to stay updated on all future uploads. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.